morning everyone it is friday and i'm going to be away today saturday and sunday at a competition and one of the questions i get asked by um members tribe members mum warriors random emails questions is how to stay on track when you're going out on social events days and other occasions so i'm actually away this weekend i'm on my bikini prep i'm going to watch my brother's strength in depth competition crossfit comp and so i thought i would just vlog what i do and if it helps you it helps you so i'll be vlogging everything so far today I have uh, finished packing my bags for the weekend, I've done my posing practice for my coach and I'll touch on this a bit later if I, if I remember and now I'm going to the gym and I will go through the stuff that I've packed which is a phenomenal amount because I'm not a light traveller. Bag in the back, I've got two bags already at my mum's with the Marnie stuff, that is just food, handbag, my clothes with some fitness stuff and I'm going to go through exactly what is in all of these a bit later on. Right now I'm going to get off, I need to get to the gym, see you later! For those that have been following me for a while will know that I do most of my workouts at home because I'm busy, I have Imani with me all the time and so I will use little bits of kit from time to time like dumbbells, kettlebells and resistance bands which I love which are from Wolves of Fitness and they're awesome. Um, but I, because since I've been doing this bikini prep I do come to the gym twice a week, Sugar's Gym, where I do back and legs because um, I don't have access to the machines anywhere else so that's what I do there. And for those that are mum warriors that are tribe members they actually have access to my full bikini prep and all the workouts that I do when, if and when I do go to the gym. So if uh, if you want to find out what they are, you can join the tribe, just go to mumwari.com and it will be in there along with everything else. I'm off to do my work. done so I thought I'd answer a quick question and that is why do I have a coach people ask me you're a coach or a trainer why do you need a coach and the reason is because if you're working towards something it's a lot easier to do it with support accountability and with someone by yourself with different experience different views to help you to get there and the reason I have the Mum Warrior Tribe members area is so that Mum Warriors have that support from me, they have that accountability from me, and also from other like-minded people that want to achieve the same thing. So I don't care who you are, it's very, it's almost foolish to think that you can do everything on your own. Everybody needs support, everybody needs accountability, so that's why I have a coach. When I work towards something, I always try to seek, seek out the best people that I can possibly find to help me um, on my journey and support me. Um, I'm going to tag the people that are, have been particularly helpful to me through this prep. One is my coach, Alison Booker. I have two coaches, Alison Booker, Sugar, and um, another lady which I'll tag, Victoria Kay, who's always, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but she's always, always been so helpful with anything I've needed to know in terms of uh, bikini competition prep anyway, which is not what I specialise in, um, which is why I seek out coaches for it. Um, I give an example, if Usain Bolt decided to start training track athletes, he'd be amazing at that because he's amazing at what he does, he knows what he's doing. However, when he competes, he also has a coach. Everybody, whether it's fitness, health, business, whatever it is, people that really succeed, people that do their best, people that get what they want, always, always have a coach. So if you're on your journey, make sure you have people around you that will support you and someone that you can be accountable to too over i am off to see my brother now who's competing this weekend say hello and then go pick my daughter up well i was on my way to go and pick my daughter up who stayed at my mum's last night because it was my husband's birthday and we went out for a meal with some friends and family and i've just realized that i need to um leave some food out for the cat until my husband gets home and we didn't have any so i had to go and get some and go back home which is the opposite side of where my mum lives and get some cat food and i'm starving it's two o'clock and I trained and finished training at 12 o'clock and I need to eat some food. Hello baby, I wouldn't forget you my little animal queen. There's your food. I'm going to figure out how to do the question thing on here so I don't have to keep writing down messages and then posting it on here. So when I've figured that out you can ask your questions uh, through the story, I've not looked at it yet, I've not had time. So what do I eat? Uh, first of all, for this comp prep, I'm following a macro-based plan. And for tribe members, mum warriors that are in my tribe will know that they can have like, access to a personalised macro plan which is tailored towards their goals if they want that. Um, so I don't do if it fits your macros. I know lots of people do. Everything's uh, each to their own. 
I don't do it for the reason that for me, more important than fat loss, weight loss, anything else, is improving your health. Um, so I don't just shovel my face full of shit just because it hits my macros, because there's so much more to it than that. And for most of the people that follow me or my mum rose or mum rose tribe members, their goal is actually to be healthier and have more energy for their children, which is which is a better goal than having been fixated on weight loss and fat loss. Instead, I always try and get my clients to look at improving their health first over anything else, because with that often comes weight loss, your skin looks better, your health is better. Well, what is the point? In, in doing fad diets and all sorts of the ridiculous things. Yeah, you might lose weight, but you could be dead the next week because you've put such a strain on your body. It's not worth it at all. So that is why um, I don't do it if it's your macros. I like to be conscious of what I'm eating, what the ingredients are, what they're doing to my body, and how they make me feel. So um, in terms of what I had to eat today, firstly I want to state, um, so many clients say to me, oh, I don't know why I'm not losing weight, all I eat is chicken and salad. One, it's very, very unlikely you are only eating chicken and salad. The body doesn't lie. That's just what you're telling me you're eating. If you write down everything you eat, you'd probably be surprised. And two, it's not just about ch eating just chicken and salad. You need to eat well-balanced meals, protein, fats, carbs. Don't stop. Stop cutting out carbs. Stop it. Stop it. That's not what you need to do. You just need to eat better type of carbs. So what I've had so far, and I will repeat... Uh, I will share what I've been eating throughout this weekend so you can see I've had 60 grams of oats this morning which is a lot, it's a large portion uh, because I was particularly hungry um, and I had it with coconut milk and a teaspoon of honey and that kept me going for quite a long time, I had a training session and then I've had, I would normally have eaten lunch by now but I've, uh, as you see I've had to sort the cat out so I've had two oat cakes which I had in the car I've had two, and I'm about to have some food which I'll show you now so I still need to go and pick up Amani, so I'm in a bit of a rush. So I'm just going to have a quick snack to tide me over until I get her and go and get something properly. I tend to eat more carbs in the morning time than evening. No particular reason, it's just my preference. It just tends to be the foods I go for. And because I'm following a macro plan, I need to make sure I stay within my uh, macros of carbs, fat and proteins for the day. Um, so I'm going to have here right now um, two kilo corn cakes with banana mashed down on top. I would normally add almond butter, however, I've already had... Uh, quite a lot of my fat already so I want to save some for a bit later um, I've got a protein shake there which is a Sunmore vegan protein shake and I have a green tea no chamomile tea um, one or the other herbal tea in there to drink and then later on I'm probably going to have something high in protein because I've still got quite a lot of that to eat and I will post whatever I have or whenever I have it okay attempt two let me go and get my lovely daughter see you later Imani, where's my daughter? Where's Imani? I haven't got a clue. Imani, I've missed her so much. Where, what's, oh, I'll just draw these curtains in a bit. And with this sunlight, it's a lovely day. Oh, oh, there she is. Hello, darling. Hey. Clean of the old car because, as you can see, here's a load of mud from Amani's feet as she kicked the chair. Although my husband has put the chair too far back, but anyway. And I'm cleaning it because I'm going to drive to Kent later, and uh, my mum and dad need a lift to the train station because they want to go by train because there's not enough space in my car. And I know that when they get in the car, they'll be like, "Your car's filthy, Martin," and I know it is, but. Someone said to me once, when you become a mum, that you, there are some things you need to sacrifice. And my sacrificial, what, what should I call it? What I've chosen to sacrifice is my car. And it's no longer as clean as it used to be because, quite honestly, Imani just wrecks it and destroys it. All the bags, I know, just going for a weekend, but better be prepared than not. Down there I've got my work bag, that's so dark you can't see that, but that's my laptop. I've got Imani's bag here. I've got everything she needs, I've got my bag here, I've got my food bag there, I've got my Tupperware bag, Tupperware bag there, another made up protein shake for later if I need it, and my handbag for the weekend. I said I would show you what I'm taking for the weekend, some food. In here I've got a load of Tupperware so that I can prep my food and take it with me to the competition, even though at the Excel Centre they do have, so as their email, over 20-something restaurants and places and stuff, but I will know exactly what I'm eating if I just take my own. So I won't go through everything, I don't want to bore you to tears, but I've got some callow corn cakes here, 
I've got some fish. I've got some egg pasta, which I won't really have, but in Marley Light, a water bottle, BCAs, which is the brand I have to take for this competition because it's a drug-tested comp, so there's any select brands I can use. Uh, my weighing scales, which are very important, so I can make sure I've got the right measurements, obviously. Uh, I've got some measuring cups, which makes things so much easier, so I can just, these are battered, I need new ones, but they, don't, they still work, do the job. And they will, I can measure out things really easily. These are Imani's oat cakes, I also like them as well, but there we go. I've got some spinach, we've got some broccoli. This, this bag started off very tidy, it's now messy. Got some dates, uh, Imani's bibs, some Imani's things, uh, some rye bread, rice cakes, olives, lots of Imani snacks, some smoked salmon. Uh, I've also got in here some oats at the bottom, which you can see, vitamin B12, veg stock, a load of sweet potatoes, what's this, tuna, Amy's kitchen lentil soup, which I love, it's very handy when you're out and about travelling, what else is this, raisins, cashews, I've also got somewhere in this now mess of a bag, um, some couscous as well and I still need to go to the shop before I go anywhere and get some water some herbal teas and a few more things and I will post about it later let's not forget I've also got some protein as well and earlier I didn't post about it but I had some couscous uh, two one and a half cups with some stir-fried spinach and onions my dinner is four eggs and 80 grams of tuna because I've hit most of my carbs and a lot of my fat, so I needed something high in protein. And I've got two whole eggs, so I've got the yolk for that, and I've got two without the yolk. And yes, the yolk is the, the best bit for me, I like that, and it's a good source of fat. However, I've got a limited amount of fats I can have today, so that is why some is missing. And I can eat like this normally because food does not really bother me. I know I need to eat protein, this is a protein-packed meal, and so I'll just get on with it and eat it because that's what I need to do. That's it. So questions on my dinner is um, why didn't I use liquid egg whites? And I didn't because I've, I've tried them before. I just don't like them. I prefer boiled eggs over um, scrambled, so that's why I don't use liquid egg whites. And they always taste a bit funny to me as well. Uh, what do I do with the yolks? I either donate them to someone else in the household that would eat them, or I save them and have them myself another time or another day. Not obviously the next day. Uh, but they don't go to waste, basically, if that's what you're after. Um, someone else asked, would I normally have tuna and eggs for dinner? No, normally I would have, well, it could be anything, but oh. not necessarily just tuna and eggs, it's just because I'm trying to hit my protein macro, and as I said, I'm not a fussy eater, so I don't really mind eating it, that's fine, so just get it, get it done. Somebody else has asked why I wouldn't just have, um, or is there a reason I didn't have it with steak or turkey mince or something like that? And that's because I don't eat meat, so it's either just it's just fish, fish and eggs. Um, I think that's all everybody asks me. Yeah. Ooh, that's how you do a question. Is it time to go? Yeah. Holiday. Yeah. Say holiday. Holiday. Yeah, mini road trip. See Uncle Zach. Yeah. Let's go. Just a quick stop here to get the rest of the food that we need. Beep beep. Beep beep. beep beep So in here we have everything we need now We've got three packets of prawns Some salmon We've got tea, eggs Two packs of carrots and hummus Fruit, grapes, raisins and blueberries Coconut milk, some bananas And enough water for the weekend And amani has got her little yo-yo sweet um, Fruit roll thing Ready? Ready to go? got everything we need now so yeah. technically I've got two bags of food but I do pack bags like it's in the zombie what's it called apocalypse or the end of the world saga yep. because um, I just do that's it it's almost midnight and we've just arrived we actually drove we're in London but we drove to Kent part of my brother's girlfriend's parents house and got an uber to save his driving in central London not knowing where to park and all that stuff and get on the train and everything else with all the bags that we have so we have just arrived i'm going to show you the place see we have not done anything yet our bags are everywhere imani is wide awake because she slept the whole way there here's the toilet one of them very nice 
Let's see what else we got. Double bedroom, there's a few of us staying, so there's me, my friend Steve, obviously Imani, nice little one sweet, my mum, my dad, and maybe my cousin if he wants to crash as well. Oh, another nice room. It looks lovely, it smells nice. There's lots of rooms. This is a massive flat. We're near the Excel, so. i to try and get Imani to wind down now and go to sleep. Nice balcony. I'm not going to go out there now because it's cold. And the kitchen. Thank goodness. I'm going to put all my stuff away tonight so that I can prep it all in the morning and show you what I'm going to be eating for the weekend. That's it. That's Friday. Travel day, really. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. ready to prep in the morning. It is day two and uh, Imani's awake and full of beans. It's nine o'clock. Uh, I'm going to go and get breakfast sorted and then start prepping the food and I'll show you what I'm taking with me today. some couscous because it's so easy that's one of the reasons why I have it just some boiling water a bit of veg stock stir it brown let it sit done another easy thing to prep is uh, boiled eggs because they don't take long to do you just whack them in leave them to boil and you take them with you and leave them in the shell don't peel them otherwise they just stink they stink anyway but they stink less it's done because that takes like five minutes the eggs are pretty much done now and then all I'm going to do is put it with, I'm probably going to have these prawns today because it's really quick. The salmon is already cooked, so I'm going to just literally scan them into my app. I use my fitness pal, put it all together. I'm going to boil some broccoli that I've got there, uh, add some spinach and couscous, and I'll just make all of my meals for the rest of the day. And I use an app called uh, my fitness pal, so I'll put everything in there. And then what I do is I like to take options, so I will, everything I prep I won't necessarily eat today, some of it I might eat tomorrow. I prep it all now and then I can pick and choose what I do and want, do and don't want later on towards, uh, as the day goes on, and just make it fit within my macros using the app. Um, as you can see, everything I'm eating is stuff that I would eat normally anyway, it's just the quantities that I've measured, so I have weighed everything out so I don't need to worry about it later, it's all into the web pops, and I'll show you that when I have finished it. There was something else I was going to say. So really when you think about it, it's not that difficult. The prawns, they're already done, they're already cooked. Uh, the carrot sticks are saying that these are all things that you can buy, that you can take with you if you don't want to prep loads and loads of things. All I've actually prepped really is eggs, couscous and some broccoli. I'll eat the spinach raw because I don't mind doing that. And I'll plan it all out, uh, take lots of extra different snacks and stuff so I can swap things about and change it so that I don't get bored. Um, and then with my fitness pal, everything's logged, and then I just remove stuff as I go or add stuff, depending on what I choose to eat out of my goodie bag. Day because competition days are often very long. Uh, I have some. I've got 100 grams of garlic king prawns in there with 100 grams of spinach, boiled egg, and two and a half cups of couscous, which is at the bottom, which you can't really see. I've got a snack pot of carrot and hummus. If I feel like it, I've got four eggs in here as well, as well as 25 grams of raisins, 25 grams of cashews, 25 grams of uh, blueberries. I've got my BCAs, my protein shake, water, more water down there, the scales just in case, Imani's bag with all sorts and her lunch in there, and I think that is everything. Couscous is ready made, good for tomorrow. I didn't do broccoli in the end, but that's I'll have that tomorrow. And I've got lots of options, it's all food I like, so it's not going to be, um, it's not, prep is not a horrible thing, just pick foods that you li actually like to eat. I've also got this, which I've never tried before, it's Pig's Peanut Butter Slug, and it's so convenient, because it's in a little sachet, which I can just take with me and then pour my crackers if I need it. In terms of how many calories I have a day, so if I'm not competing anything like this this comp this bikini competition prep or anything, I don't track my macros, I don't track my calories, I just eat healthy, balanced <coughs> meals. Um, for this prep, it's a macro-based plan, just like I do with my Monroe Tribe members. However, 
Um, in terms of calories, it probably works out too. And I'm six, seven weeks into bikini prep. I'm, I'm on about roughly 1,400 calories a day. Um, how many times a week do I work out? So mainly five. If I can do extra sessions, there are bonus sessions that I could do whatever I want in. Um, she also asks, do I do weights or cardio? So the five sessions that I do a week, I do three of them from home. Um, and two will be at a gym where I do legs and uh, back. Um, weights and cardio, I do both. So I'll do two hit sessions, which I do from home. Um, and the workouts that I do are the, all the workouts that I post to my Mumwara in the Mumwara Tribe members area. And I will do two or three steady state um, low intensity cardio workouts, which would just be like either a fast paced walk with Imani in the, in the push chair or 20 minutes on the bike. Weights, I will do, um, before I wouldn't really do this, but now I'm doing split sessions, so I'll do shoulders, back, legs, and I, and I, I do it according to what my weaknesses are and what I need to work on. I think that's all your questions. Thank you. Okay. Marnie, is it time to have a shower? Yeah, 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 let's have a shower. Let's go get you ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, uh, resistance bands with me, just so I can do little bits and bobs. I've actually done all my training sessions, but I often get asked how you can stay, uh, you know, workouts that you can do when you're out and about. But you can do, you can actually do lots of stuff. And one of the reasons I have them where I travel members area is because it's got all my workouts stored in there so that busy mums travelling or not travelling can do my workouts from anywhere, anytime, any place, as long as they have an internet connection. I've just brought some bits of kit along with me today because I want to add a little bit more resistance to my workouts. And although I've done my sessions already, I can do bits and bobs, which if I do do that, I will show you what I'm doing. Sacks smashing the last one. So now I am 
doing dinner and Molly's got hers all done. I'm start sorting mine and my friends out. And then I'm going to start prepping for tomorrow because um, I'm going to be out early so I haven't got time to do it in the morning. And I've gone through, I, the food I posted earlier, I've pretty much had all of it. Give or take an egg or two and some a few nuts and raisins here, not much left. And my evening meal will be basically whatever macros I have left will be how I create my meal. So I will get on with that, I'll get on prepping my food and I'll share it with you in a little bit. Pros I have remaining and my little thing that I do is I will make my protein shake up in the morning, sometimes I don't add the water. And then what I like to do is try and get all my protein in through food, which sometimes is more challenging because I don't eat meat, so I don't always want a lot of fish and eggs. Um, I already have BCAs. So um, I always try and save it to the end of the day, and then if I haven't hit my protein, then I'll have my protein shake. Um, so I've not yet had it. I've still got it. If I don't have it tonight, which I won't be able to now, I'll have it tomorrow. So what I've actually got left on my macros is I've got a, a lot of protein left, I've got a lot of fat left, and hardly any carbs. So what I'm having tonight is one sea bass fillet, one cod loin fillet, two and two eggs, uh, which hits my fat and my protein allowance for the day. So, and again, it's all foods that I like, so um, it doesn't bother me that that's what it is. So that's what I'll be having, and I'll show you once I've done it, and then I'm going to prep my food for tomorrow. in my tum tum so now i'm going to prep my feet for tomorrow and i'll take some photos and upload them here for tomorrow i have my protein shake i've got some corn callow cakes pretty much the same as today really some peanut butter on the go i've got 30 grams of cashews raisins blueberries in there as well as three eggs i have carrots and hummus snack and in here i have two cups of couscous 50 grams of spinach 150 grams of prawns, chili prawns they are, and I've got in there some broccoli, uh, 70 grams of broccoli, and that will make two portions, which I'll have half and then the other half another time. Um, I'll post food for tomorrow, tomorrow it will pretty much be the same as today, breakfast and dinner, and now I'm going to have my tea before I pack and get an early night ready for a early start in the morning. It's day three. As you can hear, the kettle on was just very loud. I am making uh, my morning tea, which is the turmeric one that I bought, and I'll show you what just ate. Breakfast time, and this isn't my usual breakfast, but I don't want to walk around with half a packet of salmon open. So I've got one salmon fillet, and two callow corn cakes with a tablespoon of almond butter, and half a banana and turmeric tea, and that's me done and BCAs and that's me done on that I'm gonna have my tea and breakfast and while he's still asleep look oh bless her so I'm gonna try and get as much stuff as I can before she wakes up <laughs>
yesterday, I think I mentioned yesterday that I would share some of um, the workout clips, the workout bits that I do with some resistance bands. Although, as I said, I've already done my workout for the week, but these are just extra bits that I can fit in. And because it's so easy to carry resistance bands around, um, why not? everyone it is um, Monday the competition is over the weekend is done I am back home and someone messaged me actually to say um, something to do with hitting macros using it as a target and it's exactly what I do actually in my head I think I want to hit this is my goal this is my target rather than an allowance uh, which makes can make you feel a bit like you, you're only allowed this which makes you start wanting other things because you think it's outside of your allowance so um, it's one of my friends actually from school that I've not heard from for a long time, so it's nice to see a message and that is watching these. Um, so yeah, thinking of your macros as the target is a good way to think of it. Um, the other thing I want to say is, so in summary, how to stay on track whilst you're travelling on your health and fitness journey is, you know, I know it's cheesy, but if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I know that it's cheesy. Did I say that right? Fail to plan. Yeah, I did. Um, and that is it's totally true. Like, I massively over prepare. I could have easily have said, Oh, I've fallen off the wagon this weekend because it's been a busy week, we've had a lot going on. I could have easily have said oh, I've fallen off track because of all those reasons, but I don't want to because I have a goal in mind and I want it I want to achieve it and I want to do what it takes, which is planning in advance and planning ahead. And I know sometimes you will fall off track, but I'm just saying to you, don't use social occasions as a reason to fall off track because everybody has them. Everybody lives life and all these things will come up. So you've got to be prepared, you've got to plan, you've got to pack stuff, you've got to be prepared to carry it, you've got to take Tupperware, you've got to take your food in advance and really think about what you're going to be eating for the next few days. Um, you've got to avoid the temptations that you'll see out. And in terms of fitness, make it real simple. Don't be slugging around dumbbells, kettlebells and all that kind of stuff. They're both great, but um, use small bits of kit that you can make, uh, you can do lots of stuff with. So take resistance bands, the ones that I posted earlier, um, they're super cheap, they're light, they're easy to pack, you can take them anywhere, you can do bit, little bits and bobs if you need to to keep you going wherever you are. You can also do body weight exercises if you're a mum or a tribe member. You can have access to all my workouts on demand and do them whenever without needing any equipment. So there's, there's literally no excuse. So don't don't make them up because there are, there are ways to get around it and for you to stay on track. Um, if you need resistance bands, you can go to Wolves and Fitness and you can get them there. You get 10% off when you use the code Mummy10. If you want to join Mum Warrior Tribe, if you're a mum trying to stay fit and healthy, then you can join. Uh, go to mumwarrior.com, click on Join the Tribe, come and join the tribe, and in there you will see everything that's there, which is workout. I'm not going to do anything and tell you about it here, but go and find it out if you're interested. Um, I think I've covered everything. If you have uh, this video, this vlog came about because someone asked me. Uh, the question so if you have any more questions you want me to vlog about different topics or anything else that I'm doing um, let me know and if there's enough request for it I will I will I will I will do it so that is it from me I think I've covered everything I hope you enjoyed this vlog thanks for watching if you're watching it on YouTube please subscribe if you're watching it on Facebook please like no where are you watching it like comment do all that all the usual stuff see ya